Hey! I'm gonna do uh, SWAT cats tonight, so if you're into that, cool. If you don't know what SWAT cats is, I'll tell you. One second. Okay, so SWAT cats came out in 1994, and. It was ignored for a little bit, and then Cartoon Network picked it up, and then they renewed this series for like one whole season. So they got two seasons all together. And it's a wild freaking show, man, let me tell you. you got Razor, you got T-Bone. Man, they're the two main characters. They're like uh, pilots that were uh, kicked out of uh, the Enforcer's Academy or Enforcer's uh, Brigade, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't know what you call it. But basically, they're like two ace pilots. And they got kicked out, and they're just like, you know what? Screw you guys. We'll make our own cool jet and cool headquarters and get our own blackjack and hookers, too. And yeah, it was a great, great series. Uh, <laughs> a whole lot of crit, man. I wish I could tell you. You have, to be, you have to watch the show yourself to understand just how crazy this is. The show makes no sense when you put it in uh, context. But when you watch it through, you get what's going on. It's definitely a kid show. Made from the 90s, a big giant toy commercial, but it's an awesome toy commercial though. With the jets and the cycles and the, the kaijus and the, oh my god, just everything about it. I wish, uh, for those who missed out on it, I am so sorry you missed out on it. That was one of the good ones. You should really look up SWAT Cats. It's really, really good. And uh, today I'm going to do a little bit of a hybrid tonight. So I'm going to be commenting a whole bunch of crazy random stuff at the same time that I'm also doing. Uh, well, you know, Razor and uh, T-Bone. So I'm probably going to do a whole lot of editing and a whole lot of lapses. And I'm probably not going to say too much. I'm going to try. If I burp or whatever, I'm sorry about that. That just, it happens. I'm doing this completely live. So sorry. I will cut out the unnecessary stuff though, because I don't want you to uh, get caught up on that. And also I'll make sure this is not like freaking three or four hours long in real time because I want to be honest with you, I don't want to put anybody to sit through this for no two or three hours watching me draw. It's good drawings, but it takes like a while though. And this is SWAT Cats. This is special to me. I definitely want to make sure this is right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Minutes in. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on, guy. But yeah, if I have to put this into two or three parts, I probably will do that just to help uh, with the algorithm and uh, time and yeah, I want to put you all that. I'm going to put you through all that shit. So I'll probably have lesser uh, cool editing tricks. Yeah, not for this video. I'm, I'm going to hold back on that a little bit. I'll probably do it for the next major one I do because I want to make sure that, you know, you enjoy it. I might do a live stream, maybe both. I don't know. I'm gonna be this little head in the corner though, so I'll be doing a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of that, a lot of that, a lot of that, a, lot of that a whole lot of stuff because I'm using my Wacom tablet over here. See that? Haha! -ha! It returns the Wacom tablet. It's my friend, my buddy, my lover. Mmm. <laughs> looks sexy tonight. Wacom tablet. Shh, shh, shh. Fuck up. It's our alone time now. But yeah, we do a whole lot of uh, editing in this, so I'm gonna cut out a whole lot of unnecessary cussing if I have to. We'll see. Mm, I'm gonna try. But sometimes I'm just I'm just gonna let it let it out. So you see any extra back noises or any extra crazy shit going on in the background over here? Well, people live here too, so I'm just gonna keep it brief. So let's get started, all right? Swat cats. Oh boy. This was more epic than that. I'm sorry. I failed you. That was uh, supposed to be more epic. Okay, let's get started, seriously. Alright, here we go. So. Let's doodles. Actually, the first thing I'm going to draw is the Turbo Cat. The Turbo Cat, in case you don't know, is the main plane for the SWAT Cats. It is an awesome vehicle, and I wish I could own that shit. I really do. This is the coolest fucking plane I've ever seen. 
like for real, man. This this plane, bro. It, dude, it's everything. It is just everything. But I will get a picture of it really quick. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a whole lot of a lot of this. The reason I'm doing it this way is because I want you to understand the process how I do this. Because people don't quite understand what you go through to get this done. So this is almost like behind the scenes stuff, okay? I'm probably not gonna finish in this video. We might not. I might do it in a separate video, but I just want you to know, this is this is the pain I go through for you, all right? I go through this pain. This, this pain. I go through this. Yeah. Yeah. I go through this pain for you. All the time. All the time I go through this pain for you. Turbo pod. Ah, I was getting pretty close. Not far off. Da, 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 da. Honestly, I feel the main character of the show is the goddamn plane. Cause that the turbo the turbo cat is so cool, man. I'm telling you. This is, this is like a childhood dream come true. It's the one thing I always wanted to draw once. At least one time. I'm finally gonna do it. Turbo Cat, baby. Actually, it's pretty close to uh, how it looks. I got it pretty close in the first try. That's not too bad. But yeah, I'm gonna put in as much as I can on this recording. Because I want you to see, you know, the process, man. I want you to... Get, get an idea. See, like, you know, how tough is it? Oh, uh, it can get pretty tough. Depends. Depends what you're drawing, bro. Like, Turbo Cat, for example, this thing was, uh, is a custom-made vehicle by the SWAT Cats themselves. They made this thing. I don't know what the hell they made this with, but I'm guessing a lot of stolen tech. Just because of how advanced it is. Like, it's used in, like, every episode. It's like their Voltron. But this thing is awesome, though. Such a cool jet, man. It really is. So I can totally understand why you bring it in for almost everything. So what do we do? Bring the turbo, bring the turbo cat. Okay. Now, fun thing about the show is uh, they didn't just use the turbo cat. They have like other vehicles as well, and it's the '90s, so they're all basically uh, previews of toys. So they got like the, the cat cycle and there's a like cat jet ski or something. And they, they managed to, this thing is like half Batmobile. They managed to fit all these things that I just listed off in this vehicle. They actually, this vehicle is like almost a, it's a multi vehicle. You know what I'm saying? So the jet's not just like a jet. It's also, it can turn into a, it's like a cycler, a cycler part. There's a jet ski part. There's a car part. I think, I think at one point like a mini tank or something. Or, or parts from the plane to make go to a mini tank. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's so out. It's so out there, but I do love it though. It's a great show. I love the show a whole lot. I might just draw more than one vehicle for this because the the show's known for uh, a lot of cool looking vehicles, and rightfully so though. It's a it's a cool show. It really is. All right, so I'm gonna add in this. I'm gonna draw. Ooh, hold on a second. I got a bug here. And he is dead. He is dead. Dead. D E A D. Dead. He is so dead. Gonna toss it in the trash. I'm flashing it. So dead. All right, I'm back. Nobody hear that but me, because I'm crazy. All right, so this. I think for this video, I'm just going to do the the vehicles first, and then I'm going to do uh, the SWAT cast themselves, Razor and T-Bone. Yeah! In the background, I think I'm going to put a cityscape, so I won't be too detailed with it, just enough so you can tell what the heck it is, that's all. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. Oh, in case you're wondering, I'm listening to some music on here. I'll probably add some music in the uh, in this version here, in editing, probably something nice, maybe smooth jazz. I don't know. Just so you won't be bored. I don't want to bore you. 
The more you tell me now, because, you know, I don't want to bore you. But I will bore you a little bit, sorry. This is the, you want to see it, raw and gritty version? Here we go. I'm going raw and gritty. That's just how it is, bruh. That's just how it is, bruh. 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 Bruh, bruh, bruh. But in any version, if I do add in little annotations, I'm gonna make sure it's silly as hell. Cause that's just how I like it. I want my annotations to be as silly as possible. Let's see, sorry, I'm going through, uh, the images in here. Try to see how many uh, things I can add. Oh, Turbo Psycho, here we go. Cyclotron is what they call it. Okay. So pretty sure I can add that in. I think. Oh, right, you know what? No. I got something more fun. I got something more fun. Hold on. Just hit my brain now. Here we go. So still the same thing. Hey, hey, get over here, buddy. Right here. Yeah. You're trying to escape me, my audience? What's wrong with you? Huh? Don't you escape me. I know I'm talking to myself. Come on. I'm not crazy, I promise. Or am I? Yeah. Yeah? But yeah, SWATCAST is known for having like the most awesome like 90s style uh, opening ever with the air guitar playing and blaring through the air while these two anthropomorphic casts are just driving through or flying through uh, cityscapes, just fighting like kaiju and gigantic uh, machines and just all kinds of crazy nonsense. I love it. It's so like, it's so super 90s that it can only exist in the 90s. Just everything about the show screams 90s, but I wouldn't have any other way. It's just a perfect show as it is. The show is perfect as it is, okay? It really is. Let's see. Hello. Flop here. A little extra wheel there. We'll move it around a little bit. Don't worry. as radical as possible. Let's see here. Uh-uh. Uh oh, where, oh, where did my super cycle go? Oh, where, oh, where could it be? Okay, I think I'll put T-Bone on the big one. No, T-Bone's a, he's the pilot, so he should be on the, uh... Yeah, T-Bone's main pilot. Alright, T-Bone was the pilot, That's, he was the big dude, and uh, Razor was uh, the tech guy, so he uh, he's the engineer. Like, they can both pilot, obviously, but... That's, it was their thing, though. It was totally their thing. They're, they're a duo. They've always been a duo. That's just how they are. I wish I could play a theme song for you guys right now while doing this. I really do. But I'll be, uh, copyright smack really hard. I don't want to do that. Yeah. I really wish, though. I can hum it, though. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me get the colors in for this. So they're mostly, like, blue, black, red, mostly. Okay. Blue, black, red. I can remember that. Uh, RGB. Try it this way. Let's 
because SWAT Cat's main color is a uh, uh, blue, black, red. That's their main colors. They got a motif going, so gotta respect it. Gotta respect it. But yeah, the main stars of the show was definitely the vehicles. Because, oh my god, there was some baller uh, um, cycles and jets and planes and oh my god. I, I loved every second of it. It was it was glorious. Whole way through. It's a damn shame that show got cancelled, cause oh boy. That that show would have lasted like a while. Like the toys that could they could base off this alone. Like I I would have bought every single one. I bought the plane though. When I was a kid. I don't know if I still got that anymore. I don't think I have anymore. I'm pretty sure I don't. But yeah, dude, I bought that plane. That was dude, the jet is so badass. It's such a badass jet. It's got everything you want. The jet's like, dude, I got all of it. What you want? I think I'm gonna do for this is uh, I think I'm gonna do separate layers for T-Bone Razor and the jet no cycle as well, so they don't collide together. This is my entertainment for you, I'm sorry. You know, I could play some music here. But I gotta make sure it's like non-copyright. Otherwise, YouTube can just yank it right off and be like, nope, 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 none of this, sir. None none of this, none of this nonsense today. We don't have this 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 fabricasm. No. Not the YouTubes. The YouTubes won't allow it. No, 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 sir. What's that side? You want to play music on the YouTube? <laughs> Wait. You crazy. I like you, sir. You funny. You funny, sir. You, you, you funny. Silly old, old Negro. Look at sound like. Look at you. Sound like you know something. Shoot. So what I'm using right now is uh, just certain brushes to make the uh, tires and the the design of the uh, vehicle look pretty good and all that. Because the, the scheme color for the uh, cycle is about the same as for the jet itself. So you know I'm just basically just basing one off the other easily. But I'm definitely keeping this black though. This well, it's more like black slash blue. You, you get what I'm saying though. I'm sure you get it. You get it. I'm just a just a dude talking while he makes cool looking vehicles. I wanna make him look cool. Cool. Can I make him look cool? Cool. So yeah, this video, this video will be just mostly the, the vehicles, because they are pretty fun to draw. And I might do the skatescape as well. Then for the secondary video, I'll probably finish off with our Razor and T-Bone and then set themselves. So that way, it looks very even and whatnot. Alright. So this is a very experimental no thing I'm doing. As many things I do, I have to keep experimenting. Otherwise, how will I grow? How will I grow? Alright, extra layer right there. Now, get to the fun part. Yeah, boy. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll stop that. Or will I? Just 
small flub. It's not a huge flub. It's a small flub. We just readjust. We just readjust. Remember, I don't make mistakes. I do happy F ups. So I intentionally F that up. See? Makes sense now. Makes sense. Me out of frame. Can't have that, can we? Is this the most childish thing I've ever done? Not yet. No, no, not yet. I'm just a big old man, baby. And I don't give a damn. Don't give a damn! In case you're wondering, no, I don't take any drugs. I'm naturally this crazy. Don't need drugs for that. You don't need drugs. Oh, by the way, if my quote-unquote editor is making fun of me right now, screw you too, man. Screw you to jackass. Yep, back at you, buddy. I told you. I told you I would burp. You didn't believe me, did you? Then I burped. You didn't see it coming, did you? <laughs> they never see it coming. Never. Yeah, I'm gonna speed through a whole lot of this. Don't worry. This video might not be very long. We'll see. You know, I had a weird dream last night. I dreamt that I was in the body of Will Smith. Yeah, I I don't know. It I didn't I wasn't even trying to think of Will Smith at all. I jumped I was in his body and that I was attending a uh basketball tournament for like underprivileged youth, I think. That's what it feels like. And I went into the locker room with the kids and not one of them recognized who the hell I was. Which just makes it even funnier, considering that Will Smith is a very, very well-known person. Both young kids and uh, older kids, quote-unquote. So, <laughs> it was a very surreal experience. So imagine, like, Will Smith, like, just randomly walking to his kid's, like, locker room after they have a good game. He just, uh, just goes in there just to, uh, <laughs> just to hang out with them, just, just to bullshit around. And they don't realize who he is until uh, they get a better look at him and go like, Oh, you will smell you will smell Oh my god! All that shit, man. Oh my god. By the way, I've not thought Jiggy with it in a long time until right now. Worst single ever. The song is nice, but the the whole CD for it though, ooh, sucked. That that CD sucked hard. No one liked that. That was trash. That was that was genuine trash right there. 
if you want to hear genuine trash, just find uh, Get Jiggy With It uh, CD. I, I guarantee you will not be disappointed because there's nothing to be dis- to be appointed to be a uh, approval with to to like to to even acknowledge it's just trash it's just trash it's trash kids just trash trash But yeah, the Turbo Cat was one of my favorite vehicles ever that was ever produced on a television show. And it's a shame no one else made anything just as cool. It's such a simple con- like the entire series is a simple uh, concept too. It's just two badass guys flying this badass jet, kicking the crap out of monsters all day long, every episode, Monster of the Week. Genius because it's so simple. See, I think more cartoons need to do this, especially Western cartoons. You need to you need to know what fun is. Like some some shows get it, yeah, but others are just like they try to go and, and wait too much into politics. I'm just like, stop. Nobody wants to see that. Not really. I mean, you want your show to have politics? There's there's plenty of other shows just purely for that. But I say. You shouldn't put it in every single show or try to jam pack into a kid's show or any of that or try to throw your agenda in there. Whatever, man. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to listen. If what you got to say is not really fun, especially for the kind of show you have set up, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to go. I'll just leave. I do that for anime. I do that for Western shows. It doesn't matter. If the show does not hold me, I don't care what it is. I'm out. I, I, I'm just out. Now, will this show hold kids today? I don't know. Good question. I would hope it does. It's some pretty cool stuff in here. But, you know, kids today try to be a little more sophisticated. They try to uh, be like the adults. Like, we must be like adults now, guys. Let's all be like adults. We're all adults over here. And then judge the adults in the corner over there. It's going to be fantastic. I don't know why I'm doing this uh, semi- Trump impression, but it just feels appropriate because I saw Smurmy and knew it all, and uh, I, I'm the best. The videos, just me. I know everything because I'm I'm an adult. I'm I'm adult man, yes. But I'm totally a kid at heart. That's how I grew up, and you can't take it away from me. No matter how much you may try. I'm leaving some parts in on purpose because I want to give a little side effect to this. You're going to really love in a second. Hold on. Watch this, kids. So, I'm going to add one more layer. I'm going to call that the rocket fuel layer.
called Fake It Till You Make It, kids. When you do an F up, you fix it right there on the spot. My buildings aren't perfect, I'll admit that, but... I mean, geom geometric... Well, geometry-wise, anyway, it's not that bad. Plus, I remember Mega Cat City had, like, a lot of crazy-looking buildings, so... This ain't really that far off from how he did it. Oh boy, I'm gonna be editing a whole lot of this crap out. So much editing! That, that looks cool. Look at that. That looks so cool. That's just the vehicles, too. I should add one more thing to this. Uh, what should I add here? You know what? I did forget something. I'm gonna add in uh, lights on here. All right, I'm gonna stop the video here for now. All right, stay tuned for part two where I finish this off with the uh, Razor and T-Bone. It's gonna be awesome. Swat cats.